So this is a 4.4 set section where we're adding words to our inequalities. So I'll do seven. To take sweepstakes for the largest pumpkin crop at the Riverside County Fair, the average weight of Ethan's two pumpkins must be greater than 505 pounds. That greater is an inequality word. Inequality word. That's going to tell me which way my inequality faces. One of his pumpkins weighs 618 pounds. What is the least number of pounds the second pumpkin could weigh in order for Ethan to win the prize? So right here I have average. Remember, we're averaging two pumpkins. So I need the weight of two pumpkins, and I'm going to divide that by two. That's how you take the average of something. So the first pumpkin is 618 pounds. And we want to know what the second pumpkin is. Second pumpkin, that's what we don't know. That's our X. So we're adding the second pumpkin. That's our X value. And we're going to divide that by 2. And that average, that's what this is, the average has to be greater than 505 pounds. So it's going to, 505 is going to go here, and you have to determine what inequality goes there. Whenever you have inequality, you have the options less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. This doesn't say anything about equaling 505 pounds. It just has to be greater than. So whatever this average is, we open up to the bigger number. It has to be greater than. So that's our inequality. Now we want to solve that down here. I'm just going to rewrite it so I have some room. And we're going to go back to what we did in the first section. We need to multiply by the denominator. That's how you get rid of a fraction. And I like to write it as 2 over 1, so I can see the cross canceling. Those both divide by 2. That's why we get the 1s. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. So over here I have 618 plus x. And then 505 times 2 is 1,010. So here I have a positive 618 plus x. So the opposite of adding 2x would be subtracting. So I need to subtract that 618 on both sides. And there I'm just going to get 0. And I have x needs to be greater than, let's see, 10, 10, minus 618, 3.92. And we're talking about the weight of a pumpkin, so it needs to be pounds. If it's greater than 392 pounds, that average is greater than 505.